guys, welcome back to Let's Cook That. Today I'll be making some agua fresca. It's gonna be a strawberry horchata. So there's people that like just plain horchata or just um, agua fresca de fresa. There's videos on that too that I already have up. But for those that like to put them together, combinate it, we're gonna make strawberry horchata today. So I'm gonna show you how to do that step by step, starting by disinfecting our strawberries, okay? So if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming back and watching our videos. So now let's get started with those ingredients. So the ingredients that we'll be using is rice, some vanilla, cinnamon stick, of course our strawberries, and then you're probably saying vinegar. Yes, vinegar to disinfect our strawberries. And then we have evaporated milk, and then we have one of the lechera, which is a condensed milk. And then if you wanted to have more red color for it to look more bright, we have some food coloring, which is red. And then I have some cane sugar, but you can also use granulated sugar. It's up to you, or you can add more lechera. But that's depending how sweet our strawberries are going to be, okay? So this is maybe yes, maybe no. But now let's get started. Okay, so our first step is getting your rice. You're gonna go ahead and add your rice to another bowl or a measuring cup. And I already made a mess of rice. Don't do that, you guys. <laughs> and then the cinnamon stick, you're gonna go ahead and put it into your rice. And then you're gonna add two and a half cups of water to your one cup of rice. You're gonna leave this soaking. If you can leave it soaking overnight, it's better. But if you can't, two to four hours, it's perfect. It'll still be very good. So right here, I already have my rice soaking with the cinnamon stick. So we're gonna go ahead and set this aside because we're gonna start washing our strawberries. So now we're gonna go ahead and make sure our strawberries are in good conditions because sometimes they could be really nasty. You're gonna use about a, a little bit over a pound. So maybe like 16 to 18 strawberries. See this one, I don't like it. So let's go ahead and do that. And then you want some extra strawberries because you could slice them up, cut them up, and then you could use them for garnishment. So let's go ahead and continue. Make sure that when you're going to disinfect them, don't remove the little um, green stem or the little leaves. Don't remove them. Leave them on, okay? I'm going to go ahead and give this a rinse, and then I'll show you how to disinfect. Now that we've rinsed them, let's go ahead and get more water. And then you're gonna add white vinegar. Maybe like two little caps into your water. And don't worry, your strawberries will not taste like vinegar. So let's go ahead and cover this up. I'm gonna go ahead and add more water to make sure they get covered up in water and we'll leave them for like 10 minutes. Okay, so it's already been 10 minutes you can leave it longer if you like but no more than 20 minutes but these um look nice and clean so let's go ahead and drain this water out and then we're going to give it a good rinse again okay so our strawberries are ready we're going to go ahead and remove its little stem with um i'm using the help of a piping tip you could just actually go like that and you just take off the top part or you can do it with, with the knife or just pull it off and then just take off the little part from the middle. Okay, so our strawberries are ready, our rice is ready. So let's go ahead and pour our rice and our cinnamon into a blender. And we're gonna go ahead and, my hands are clean you guys, okay? We're gonna go ahead and blend this for like about three minutes. Okay, so once it's nice and blended, go ahead and get a strainer. If you have a cheesecloth, you can use it as well. So let's go ahead and strain it. Don't throw this away. You're probably gonna say, why not throw it away if I'm gonna put it back in the blender? So yes, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the blender. If you want, you don't really have to. And 
Let's go ahead and set this aside. And then pour your rice water back into the blender. And then you're gonna add your strawberries to blend it together. So now we're gonna go ahead and blend it one more time. Okay, so once it's blended together with your strawberry, go ahead and pour it back into your strainer. So this, all this, you do not want it into your chata, okay? So let's go ahead and discard this. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add our vanilla. Remember all the ingredients, I leave it in the description box. And then your evaporated milk, add it as well. Your condensed milk. Let's go ahead and give it a very good stir. Okay, so once it's nice and mixed with your lechera and everything, well now it's time to transfer it to a bigger jug or a pitcher, whatever you have, because you're going to go ahead and add water. Because, of course, you don't want this. This is way too thick. It's like we're going to make, like, popsicles or something. So let's go ahead and transfer it over. Now let's go ahead and add some water. Let's give it a stir. Now it's time to taste it and to see if you like the thickness of the awa. It's good, but it could use a little bit of more sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding a little bit of sugar, maybe less than half a cup. But remember the sweetness is up to you because everybody's sweet tooth is different. So that's up to you. And it also depends how, how milky you like it or if you wanna add more water. Mmm. More and more, it's good and good. And for me, I think it is too milky, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water. So I added like 20 ounces more. Well, the first one was 16, and then right now it's like 4 ounces. And it's perfect. So this is a natural... Agua de horchata con fresa. If you want it to be more red, like you when you usually buy it at the places, start adding a little bit of food coloring and stir until you get the perfect color that you want. So the extra strawberries that we have, let's go ahead and cut them up. And you can put them into your agua. It's very delicious. Your kids will love it. And then you could cut another one. Garnish your little cup, make it cute. Have some more. And now it's time to serve. Now let's pour. Oh, it's too much ice, but icy, nice and cold, tastes really, really good. And that's it. This is your delicious horchata de fresa. It's very good. So I already showed you guys how to make your, like your, um, is it puree that you're going to make? And then after that, it's just adding the water and more sugar to your liking. 
because some people like it like big, you know, like milky. Some people don't like it too milky. So that's up to you. And the share of the sweetness is up to you as well. But this is very delicious, you guys. And you know what? The agua fresca de fresa that has no rice, like no horchata, you can actually convert those into popsicle sticks for summer for your kids or even for yourself. And it's very good. And I believe it's probably healthier than the ones you buy at the store. But now let's go ahead and give this a try. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't done so. Leave your comments down below. Share with your family and friends. And remember, at the end of every video, we also leave other videos related or sometimes they're not related or something that you might like to see. So thank you for watching and let's go ahead and give this a try because it smells really good, you guys. Mmm. Delicious. Nice and cold and yummy. Thank you for watching. Bye.